Hi, my name is Heather Swain. I'm the author of Make These Toys, 101 Clever Creations from Everyday Items. And today I'm here with two of my favorite toy makers, Ellie and Clementine, and we're going to make a couple of toys from my book. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Great. First we're going to make a mini marshmallow popper. What you're going to need is a sturdy paper cup, a balloon, a rubber band, and your ammunition, some mini marshmallows. But don't eat them, right? <laughs> First what I have to do is cut the bottom out of this cup. I like to use a utility knife. You could also use an X-Acto knife, or a sharp, small kitchen knife, or even the edge of scissors. But I don't think this looks safe for kids. What do you think? No, I think this is a grown-up job. What I like to do when I'm making this for a large group of kids is just cut the bottom out and then let the kids pull the bottom right out of there. This is great, thanks. Great for a picnic or a barbecue where you have a lot of kids who are looking for something to do. And you probably have all this stuff laying around your house. Next, I'm going to tie a knot on the end of the balloon, but I'm not going to blow it up. And then, Ellie, if you want to get a pair of scissors, Ellie's going to snip the tip of this right off. There you go. Now, I'm going to reach my fingers inside the balloon, and I'm going to stretch it like this. And I'm going to place that knot right over the top of the hole so it's centered on the top of the open end of the cup. And then the next thing we have to do is just put a rubber band around there to make sure that it stays. Now I'm going to drop the ammunition in and pull my balloon back in. <laughs> the next toy we're going to make is great for little kids. It's a rolling dog. All right. What you need for this one is a paper plate, a flimsy paper plate, two drinking straws, and a couple of empty thread spools. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a hole punch, and a couple of markers. The first thing I'm going to do is just fold my paper plate in half. Then I'm going to draw a dog, a profile of a dog on the side of the plate. I happen to have a template with me, and this is available in the book in case drawing's not your thing. I've already drawn one for the girls on the plate. You can trace yours with your marker if you want. You could make anything you wanted. You could make cats, a horse, even a roller skater would work. After you trace the dog on your plate, we're just going to cut around the outline. What's nice about working with paper plates is they're so flimsy, if you buy the cheap kind, <laughs> that you can make lots of good crafts with them. And you probably have them in your cupboard already. Now Ellie can start decorating her dog by drawing an ear, an eye, maybe a nose and mouth, even spots. Ready to decorate your dog? Me too. I'm going to draw a face on one side and then flip it over and draw a face on the other. And of course, give him a big smile. There's my dog. Once your dog is decorated, the next thing we're going to do is punch two holes in the paws. I'm going to take my hole punch and just clip a hole nearly to the end. Now, the nice thing about drinking straws and hole punches is that a standard hole punch is about the same size as a standard drinking straw, but you might have to work to get it through the hole a little bit. I'm going to take the side that doesn't have the flexible tip and work it through one of my holes. There you go. How's it going? Oh, you had a good idea. You put your legs together and stuck them through. There. And then Ellie's going to trim hers, so there's just going to be about a quarter inch on each side. And you can do the front legs, too. And then Ellie, you can grab a couple spools. There you go. And just pull your straw out from one side. And then slip your spool on there. What I love about making toys with kids is, next they'll take this in all kinds of directions and make up their own toys. And that's when you know that they're really engaged in the work they're doing. 
Is yours roll out? There we go. All right. And there's your rolling dog. You can find out more about this book and the instructions for these projects on the Penguin website.